stop halfway just to what are you doing let it go in you're checking the cassava if it's boiling <laughs> watching the cassava so, guys she's <laughs> watching the cassava boil all plantains you guys can see right no they can't <laughs> Yummy. Yes, guys, she's about to have bald cassava with egg sauce and bald plantains. That's what we're having for breakfast. Time to roll up our sleeves, guys. We are made for breakfast. All right, guys, so today, as you can see, here, as you can see, guys, she wanted cassava again today, but this time around, there's a little twist to it. Um, so I made board cassava with board plantains with egg sauce. And so what that is, is scrambled eggs with peppers and onions. I don't know why he calls it egg. Is, it, is that what you call it back at home? Well, I just call it egg, egg sauce. Because you would almost think it's like an egg. Oh my God, you're going to eat this with your fingers? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Because when people here think egg sauce, they would think, oh, a sauce made of eggs? Like, what is that? You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Guys, this is so good! This is everything. I can wait. Bought cassava with egg like this. Oh, and guys, surprise! We found, well, I found the cassava, which I know to be yucca. I found it this morning in our local grocery store. Who knew? If you guys watched our other video, you saw that Lamb and I were going crazy, mm -hmm. looking for it all over the place. Meanwhile, it's at the grocery store we go to all the time. I was surprised when you said it. Yeah, I was like, um, I'm looking at yucca right now. This just feels like a Sunday smorgasbord. <laughs> Sunday smorgasbord. There's nothing better than Sunday breakfast. It's so spiritual, I can't explain. This is my first time having a boiled plantain and it's really good. That's true. She has never had boiled plantain before, so she's having boiled plantain for the first time. I've had fried plantains, which are amazing. I've never had it boiled. It's mm -hmm. good this way. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought I would have liked it boiled. I didn't boil it a lot because I didn't know if you would like it. No, it's really good. I'm happy you're liking all this food. And it's crazy, like the natural like taste it has. Like it's not because mm -hmm. I didn't like it. The reason why I was kind of turned off to trying it was I've had yucca before, but I guess the way it was prepared, I just didn't like it. It was in some type of sauce, and so I figured that was just how the thing itself tasted. The potato, or what is a cassava? What is a yucca? Like a potato? Well, a tuber? Yeah, it's a root. It's a root, like. So oh, like, that's right. It's, it's like potato. Because guys, when I checked out at the cash register, it was like, scan your yucca root. <laughs> no, it said yucca root. I was like, yucca root, really? Can we do a little bit better? Move your yucca root to, to the, the bag. bag. <laughs> If you ever go grocery shopping and you're trying to hide something from the person you're with, don't use mm -hmm. self-service. It's the worst. It will call you all the way out. <laughs> I had a surprise for you one time and I scanned it. It's like <laughs> you were on the phone and you were so excited because you were waiting for this item. Like They were out of plantains for like a week, guys. It was like a, a shortage. And so I was so happy to finally find a fresh batch. They delivered it that morning. I go to the grocery store mad early. And he was like, he's on the phone with me. And it's like, 
move your plantains to the <laughs> back. I was like, no. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> so I was like, honestly, just forget it. At that point, just forget it. Mm -hmm. I don't even want them anymore. They were like, plant chains. I was like, huh. They do drain for it. Meanwhile, guys, she likes going to the grocery very early. She yeah. likes to be like the first person in the store yep. before people start arriving. That's when they have like all their fresh stuff just loaded in. But also, it's before it's beating the crowd. If we try to go like now or later, forget about it. It's like the rest of the world is there. She likes being very early. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't like me to come home. I always like to go home. I'm going to finish this plantain if you don't eat it though. You can. I'm kind of obsessed with the yucca right now. Even though I really like the plantain too. I don't know what to do first. So let me grab a piece before <laughs> we all know what he's gonna do, guys. I'll go back for that piece of plantain and I'll it'll be like I played myself. When you eat with your hand, it's very spiritual and it's better. It tastes better. The food just naturally tastes better. Mm -hmm. I just can't imagine eating this one with my hand, so I'm like It's okay. You need to understand that I grew up with my grandma yeah. and I didn't even know how to like use cutlery properly until I became a teenager. Mm -hmm. The only thing I know is I know how to use spoon. Mm -hmm. And even like I know how to use this uh, fork. fork, you know, but <laughs> like you know how you say you set a table, mm -hmm. you know where to put the, the knife, the spoon. I didn't know anything like that. Oh, but, well. That's also considered etiquette, like extreme etiquette. Most people don't know where to put the fork, the knife, the smaller fork, the spoon, the butter knife. Most people don't know that. That's why there's school and class for that. Most people will just slap a fork, a spoon, and a knife down and say like, whichever one you need, you use when you use, and it's either on the left or the right, and that's that. Like, even to know. How to I don't have time. I don't even. Yeah. Care. I honestly don't care enough. To even to know how to use it, like. You, you hold the fork in your mm -hmm. left hand and the knife in your right hand. I was a whole grown A man. lot of people, honestly, though, even adults, still don't have that down. I was an adult adult before I knew how to do that to guys. Some people, but it's honestly, like, I wouldn't look at it as a bad thing for you because, again, that's considered, like, etiquette where you actually have to learn those things. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, most people won't know to cut it with a certain way it's not instinctual because i think instinctually we are supposed to do what you're doing mm -hmm. your hands it's man it's like man who made these start eating with utensils <laughs> rewire your human instincts this is the best one um Having it boiled almost makes it taste a little bit more like sweet. Mm -hmm. It's a little sweeter. Your eyes are dropping so hard right now. What do you mean? I have a feeling I'm going to go back to bed after I'm, this week. I'm 100% guys going back to bed. We'll post the video for you people to be watching. Ooh, go and sleep. Just know that we'll be recovering. There's nothing better than Sunday breakfast and going back to bed. Nothing. Literally nothing better. Except for like another piece of cassava. Wait, let me go and check if this video is recording because it will be bad after all this. We we'll finish the food and realize it was not recording. I hope I was not too hungry to press record. Wow. I'm just I'm just thinking about it now and I don't know why that came to my mind. At the damn end of it. No, it is. It is recording. Oh, thank God. You guys are very good. I would have cried. And I've just been like, it's over. Going to bed.
I would have gone to bed. Content gone. And the crazy thing is, like, I know a lot of people are gonna ask for the recipe. It's not even a recipe, guys. It's just cassava. Yep. Or yuca. Also known as yuca. He chops it up into like a few slices. You know, takes the I call it bark. It like told him it was like Christmas tree bark. <laughs> and you just take the bark off. And then you boil it. How long did you boil the yuca for? We boil for like 20 minutes. Basically boil it until it's soft, you know? Okay. For the yuca and the plantain, right? Mm -hmm. And then guys, you just eat it like this. He put a little bit of salt in the water while it was boiling. And then he made the eggs again with sunflower, we use sunflower oil. Um, and then he mixed in peppers, red peppers. <laughs> what did you say? Atarodo. She said atarodo. She said it again. <laughs> atarodo. Mm -hmm. And which She's is like liking a small it now. red pepper. Very spicy, guys. A small pepper, fear it. And it's and then he put in green peppers and onions, and just grab the eggs with it. But so the way that, I like to make it, I like to fry the the peppers first, then add the egg to it later. Yeah. That's what makes it very tasty. Mm -hmm. Come on. I am full. I'm going to bed like right now. That plant thing looks it. like a lost individual. <laughs> Badass central. That plant thing was just standing around there, no egg to accompany it. it looks, wow! It looks because long. I really wanted the cassava. <laughs> cassava, yuca. Somebody said that yuca will make somebody tick. Yeah. You know how I like it when you're tick. <laughs> 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 Look at your face! <laughs> You're so stupid. Whenever she starts going to the gym, I always warn her. I don't care. You want to lose your cheek, lose it. You want to lose your hand, lose it. But you see that waist? And that, uh, you know? Don't touch it, though. Whatever you do, make sure you secure the bag. That must not be impacted. Does it do the same thing for guys? Or Like, does it make your bum bum? I don't know. Yeah, that one, I don't know. And it's interesting because, like, <laughs> the yuca kind of tastes like a potato -y, but not like a potato. Mm -hmm. But it's got that consistency. Mm -hmm. How are you guys doing? I'm just seeing you people now. Now I can see you. You guys have got to try this. If you've <clears throat> never tried board cassava with plantain, board cassava, board plantain with egg sauce. Oh God. Sunday breakfast. And you must leave your hand on. It's over for me, guys. It's over for me. Damn, it's over for me. <laughs> you look like you need to go and sleep. I'm about to knock out. I can't tell. <laughs> wow, that has... <sighs> but how do you feel, sincerely? I'm so full with cassava. But how do you feel, like... Eating things like embracing the culture, eating things that you're not used to normally. Does it make you miss what you've been eating all your life? No, because I'm still eating that like every day. Mm -hmm. It's just recently I feel like you've been making like the vegetable soup. Mm -hmm. It's only been like the last couple of weeks, come on. Yeah. <laughs> the drama, you guys, with this one. The drama. 
I just had something American yesterday for lunch. I had a chicken parm wedge, remember? Chicken parm what? Chicken parm wedge. What is parm wedge? Chicken parmesan on a wedge. Chicken parmesan on a wedge. Where did you eat that Yesterday, while you were sitting right next to me, eating your wings with french fries. Wait, that's the name of that thing you're eating? Chicken parmesan with a wedge. I never knew the name. On a wedge. Yeah, that's what you're eating on a sandwich. A wedge means on that roll like that, that long type of roll. Chicken parmesan on a wedge. Chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan on a wedge. Good job. That's what you're eating there yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was too hungry to even think about. I just know the moment I gave you your, your plate, I just knew I'm, I'm done. You know it's good when you, after you finish eating, you start looking for yeah, the crumbs to Yeah, he's literally pick. picking the crumbs out, guys. I'm going to bed, because I can't anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed our breakfast with A nice Sunday us. breakfast. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Thank you guys for joining us. Too. We love you. And it's Sunday, so you know what that means. We'll see you on our live. Yo, this is so good. Does YouTube have a live? They should. I don't even know. I think it's so surprised almost if they did it. Yo, I feel like my eyes is closing already. They are, I've been telling you. I was watching you eating, they were getting lower and lower. My eyes is like a, a light bulb that is going dim. That's what you look like. That's what I said to you. This food, this food is like sleeping, sleeping tablets. What's Thanks. a tablet? It's a tablet. S sleeping tablet. Tablet. Thanks. Merci beaucoup. The way I'm sitting here, you might have to carry me to the bed. <laughs> oh, oh, I just remembered. I still have to elevate my knee. Yeah. Oh, and your thing is coming today. Yeah, guys. So I just ordered something else that can help my knee. Um, hopefully, it should be arriving at the house today. It's like a heated, vibrating compress. Yeah. It's, from Amazon. Yeah, it's coming in today. Be here. Why don't you go look outside the door? Seriously, because they deliver early on Sunday. It will, it will get here. I will, I will check. You. If anything, I'm me get up from here. I'm going to the room. Yeah, so go check and then go into the bedroom, ding dong. It's literally on the way. It's not an inconvenience. Don't send me to that door right now. That door looks as if I'm going to New York. Ma'am, you have to get to the bedroom. How are you going to get to the bedroom without passing the front door? I will just pass like this. But anything that will make me now turn a little bit and start opening that door. But wait, I have to go and pick it up before I will get outside again. I will not see it. What did you just say? I'm pretty sure none of it was English. What's up, guys? I look like I'm drunk. <laughs> That's exactly what you look like. Like, when you had that drink on her. Our... Yeah, right. Lamb After you set me really, up. Lamb doesn't really drink, guys, so on our honeymoon, I hooked them up with a very strong Long Island iced tea. It was over for him. Come and say it to their face. They are not seeing you. It was over for him. Wow, you came. Yep, I sure did. You just said, wow, you came. <laughs> I cannot. With you ever. There's two more in here, you want it or not? Yeah, put it there. there. I'll peel it later on. And guys, this is how you boil the plantain. You don't peel it, you boil it like this, and when it's so you done, just cut them, right? you just cut it. And if you're boiling it, once it begins to crack like this, you see how it cracked? You know it's ready. That's how I used to know. That's my grandma's style. She doesn't put anything inside to see. See, once that thing begins to crack, you know, it's, it's, you're good. So once it cracks and it's done? Mm hmm It's amazing and crazy how much technique 
my grandma has around cooking. Mm -hmm. That's why you're such a good cook. She never measured anything like measuring cup. What? I never knew anything about measuring cup until I I, I grew up and came to America. In fact, no, like I knew about measuring cup in Nigeria, but I was probably in my twenties. And you probably didn't even use it, right? I never used it. And I don't think I'll ever use measuring cup. <laughs> Once I look at the pot that I'm about to cook with, I already know the yeah, amount I'm of always like how the hell do you know? How much like rice and how much water and how like and I just, never make mistakes. You just know. I always need the measuring cup, like no matter how much I bake. Yep. It could be the same thing. I need to know and measure because I'm just that anal about. Nah, my grandma. If if you grew up like with my grandma, like when you look at the pot, the size of the pot you want to cook with. Yeah. You already know the the size of rice or the size of yam. Like the cassava, anything I'm cooking, once I look at the, the thing, I know what to put in it. I know the size immediately. I don't have to measure anything. Yeah. I probably will only measure if I'm cooking something that I've never done before. Mm -hmm. And I bet you after that first time, it's over. I will never measure again. Yeah. He said it's over. Yeah. your comments we appreciate the fact that the love that we share brings so much joy to you guys and um I'm gonna, lamp fam. I'm gonna, it sounds like i'm giving a speech i know be quiet we need to go to bed before i lose this sleep do you guys know what it's like to lose sleep to be so tired but then so much talking or something happens bye guys ling and lamb fam out Sign it up. <laughs> Bye guys. I didn't realize I was lonely until you came into my life. I didn't know what I was feeling until you opened.